morning people, how are we doing? It is a Saturday? Yeah, this is a Saturday. I really have to think about what day it is now. But today is a very exciting one. I didn't vlog yesterday because nothing happened. I went to the England game. I went to like um, this event where you can go and watch on like a big screen. There were like bars, there were little like restaurant type things. It was rammed. So I didn't want to take my camera. And also the rest of the day I just did admin, which was not good content. There we go. Um, today is a very exciting day. So Perry is coming up from Dover. And I said to him the other day, I was like, I've never been to Notting Hill. In the whole time I've ever been like living in London, never been to Notting Hill. I've heard about it, never seen that film. Because everyone's going to be like, oh, Sam, if you had seen the film, you know exactly what Notting Hill looks like. I genuinely don't know what Notting Hill looks like at all. So Perry used to work in Notting Hill. So he's going to show me round. We're then going to go for some sushi. We're going to vlog the whole thing and then later on we're going to see Tammy Faye which is a musical written by James Graham and the lyrics were by Elton John so what could be better you know it's sold out throughout the run like totally sold out like I looked the other day and it was just like returns 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 so that can only mean a good show because I think it might be going to Broadway quite soon. But before all of that, I'm actually going to go and drop my keys with Lizzie as she's coming back here tonight. But my show finishes a lot later than hers does, which I didn't expect. It's quite a long show. So I'm going to go and drop the keys with her and then head on to Nottingham, Nottingham Forest, I was about to say. Notting Hill. <laughs> keys successfully dropped off. I am now going to get a coffee as I go on the tube. And because there is a train strike today and tomorrow, the tubes are rammed. So, I didn't manage to get a coffee because I knew that I wouldn't be able to hold it on the tube. But yeah, I think I'm going to head over to Notting Hill now. I'm going to get a coffee from Nero and then get on the tube as I think it will take me about 40 minutes, 45 minutes. And then I'm meeting Perry at half past two, which I'm really excited about this day. This day is definitely needed. So my coffee plan failed as there was a line out the door. It's really funny because Perry earlier on was in Victoria and said to me, he was like, it's mental how quiet it is in London. I've genuinely not seen it this busy in well over a year. It's just there are queues everywhere. Like five guys, there was a queue out the door. What's going on, London? I just want a coffee. Officially in Notting Hill. I actually went to Olenstein. I've never been to Olenstein before, but I've heard everyone ranting and raving about it, about their social slice. But one better, they brought out a Christmas social slice. So I'm not quite sure what to make of it. I don't actually know what it is. I've just been told to get one. Well, this looks amazing. Oh my god, that is so good. It's like bread. There might be like custard or marzipan in there. Chocolate. But I think the difference between the normal social slice, which is normally cinnamon, and this is that there's, uh, it's like sugar coated on the outside. It's like a bit like a donut. That, I have to say, is one of the best Christmas inventions that has ever been made. I haven't even had my lunch. I'm supposed to be having sushi. I'll still be well up for sushi, but this is a good shout. Looks like a normal drink. No, I'm half a lemon. What is that? You squeeze what? it and you put it in. That's very true, actually. Oh, by the way, I'm here with Perry. Hi. <laughs> So 
full good sushi. But that was <laughs> some of the best sushi I've ever had. That was an amazing recommendation. It's alright. <laughs> um, and now we're gonna have a bit of a walkabout and then head over to the Almeida to go and see Tammy Faye. Yes. I was just saying to Perry, I have no idea what this is about. I don't know. Kind of, I've just heard amazing things. Sold out across the board, yeah. So it has to be good. I mean, I think it's 14 or 15 new and original Sir Elton and Jake Shear songs, written songs, which is pretty incredible, right? Not only is it a sellout, but we got our tickets for 15 pounds because we got it on first day release. Just saying, yeah, Quite we shabby. did, yeah, yeah, we did. Oh, it's just, I did that earlier, I don't know if anyone saw it. But I walked out into the road when it was a green light. And a, car, and a car and a car did not stop! <laughs> oh, no. The car did not stop. No. It's raining, it's not very nice, but we have both done some Christmas shopping we have at these. Portobello Market. Well, yeah. not quite Portobello Market, just Portobello really? Road. And I think we've both done quite well on our Christmas shopping so far. We did. Um, but we are now just walking up to the theatre. I couldn't be more excited for this. I am buzzing. I just hope I'm not that one person who doesn't enjoy the show. Hopefully not. Because I haven't heard one other person hate on this show. Yeah, it's been all raving, hasn't it? Rave, rave, rave. I got here. I don't know if you guys have this, if you live in America or anywhere else. I found like chewing gum but melon flavoured. Three packets left. I took all three packets. Of course I did. And I got strawberry Fanta, which you can only get in five guys in the UK, and it's imported because they've put a special label on it. Love you see, it. where are we? Highbury and Islington. It's a bougie area. Very bougie. We are just out of the interval. Yeah! It is so good. <laughs> and lives up to 100% the hype that everyone is ranting and raving about on yeah. Twitter. Katie Braeburn needs to get every award going. She's the best. Andrew Runnels needs to get all awards going. He's amazing. The whole <laughs> cast is just spectacular. This needs a transfer. We are thinking it's going to go straight to Broadway. Who knows, but we want a transfer. We want a That's transfer. We actually, We're only through Act One, guys. Act I know. One. But I think there's gonna be, there's gotta be a cast recording, surely. Has to be. It we need one. So catchy. Jake, Sir Elton, if you're watching, <laughs> we need a Tammy Faye original cast recording, please. Please, thank you. <laughs> we are so excited to go back in and uh, watch the second and a half. To bring it on. What's windy? Woo! I forgot to hit the record button on my camera the other night when I did my outro. Damn. Oh well, I'll just quickly do it now. It's currently Monday morning. And I think the reason that I didn't do it was because after the show, we got Andrew Rannells to sign our uh, programs. He was the original Elder Price on, uh, in Book of Mormon on Broadway. He originated the role and it was so exciting that he was even in the country doing a show because I don't think he's ever done something in London, but this was like perfect for him. And uh, as we walked out of the theatre, it started like lightly raining and then it chucked it down. But it didn't ruin our enjoyment of the show. The show was amazing, like truly amazing. And I hope and pray to the theatre gods that there is some sort of transfer or something because that's what I think we need in our lives. There's something like upbeat like that. It's really funny, really good songs. Keeping my fingers crossed though, because I do worry about Almeida shows coming into town. A lot do, but a lot of like five star sold out shows just don't because they like the limited run. But as it's Monday, I'm going to edit this vlog because this is already a day late. And then I'm going to start tomorrow. T today's, today's, today's vlog uh, now because I'm already super late with the vlogs. So it's all cool. It's all cool, we'll be back on schedule tomorrow because tomorrow is officially the first day of vlogging. I will explain a lot. I sound so bunged up. I'll explain a lot in the next video, the next vlog. Uh, there's a lot that I need to talk about. But for the moment, thank you for coming on these adventures and I'll see you later.